Hi, welcome to a new episode of Dr. Nagy's Orthodontic Q&A. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. And um, we, last time we had a question about uh, what to do if uh, uh, you have a situation where you know, a child or, or a young adult had an accident and uh, you're facing a situation where the tooth has been knocked out uh, and then you have an obvious tooth, um, uh, which just means the tooth has been completely knocked out of the socket. Uh, there's a couple of things to know in, in these situations. And one is um, uh, you have to make sure uh, that you know if it's a baby tooth or if it's a permanent tooth. Um, baby teeth uh, cannot be uh, re-implanted uh, so if you have a situation where the baby tooth has been knocked out it's important then uh, to uh, focus and make sure the patient's feeling okay uh, but the tooth uh, will not be able to re-implant it um, if you have a situation where it's an adult tooth that has been knocked out adult teeth can oftentimes re-implant it quite successfully if you take a couple of certain measures uh, so one of those measures would be just make sure the patient is you know comfortable and they are not bleeding and you know take care of them first and then pick up the tooth by the crown uh, don't pick it up by the roots but pick up pick up the tooth by the white part which is the crown part um, and then just rinse it up with some clean water and then put the tooth in uh, uh, in a glass of milk uh, would be probably the best uh, storing the the the, the knocked out tooth in a, a glass of water is not a good uh, solution because uh, um, it can destroy the cells in a tooth that will help with the reimplantation. Um, so the best thing would be is to put it in a glass of milk. Uh, the other option would be is if uh, if a child is a little bit older, uh, you could put a tooth in uh, uh, in between their gums and their cheeks, um, but um, just make sure that the patient doesn't swallow the tooth. So I think. Uh, uh, storing it in a glass of milk would be probably a safer bet. Um, and then the next step would be is just to make sure that you get to your dentist as soon as possible so the tooth can be reimplanted. Uh, if you think you can reimplant the tooth or you just cannot get to your dentist or you just really can't, there's nobody open or if it's a holiday or the weekend, then I would just rinse it off, rinse off the tooth with water, um, maybe uh, soak it in milk for a couple minutes and then try to reimplant it and try to secure the tooth as much as you can. Um, afterwards because it's going to be important to to secure the tooth so it's not mobile afterwards so you want to get to your dentist so somebody can can do that um, now the best solution really is for uh, a lot of these uh, problems is really prevention which would be uh, uh, make sure that your child has good mouth guards um, yeah, you know, if they if they they are not in braces, the best one is uh, if you can go to your dentist and they can take an impression, and a custom mouth guard can be made. Uh, we do this all the time for our patients, and those are really the the best ones. The lab will make the mouth guard and they custom made and they they really nice and they work really well. And there's different types and different thickness for different sports. So make sure that you tell your dentist what kind of sports your child plays, because um, the mouth guard is sometimes that determines what kind of mouth guards they should have. Um, now, if your child ha if your child is in braces, that's a little bit different because the custom custom mouth guards won't fit. Um, there's a couple of uh, mouth guards that are made specifically for uh, for uh, for children with braces and who are in braces. Um, we like the shock doctor probably the best. Uh, we still custom fit it for our patients. We have to trim it back a little bit. Sometimes it's too long because they're. They're not custom made, so we try to customize it in our office. So uh, next time you're, you are in our office, if your child plays and they're, they're in braces, make sure you get one of the mouth guards. We usually just keep it in our office, uh, so it's always available. Um, and um, if you have any questions, you're welcome to send us an email or just post it below this video. Um, we much appreciate uh, you sharing and liking our videos and your input. And um, we had a quarterly drawing for uh, for uh, people who liked and shared our videos, and uh, uh, we we uh, raffle off an Apple Watch. And uh, here it is. We will post uh, the winner of the Apple Watch below this video. Uh, congratulations! And you can call our office to uh, to pick it up. And thank you for again for uh, watching our videos and sharing it we always like to answer any questions that you may have so if you have a topic that you would like to cover just make sure send us an email and let us know um, well thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of the week goodbye